Hey everybody, it's Emily Heath, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with an overdue Urban Worm Bag 2 update. Well, I did not expect that. I sure expected some sprouts, but um, looks like our acorn squash is probably just about broken down in here. We have a few climbers, but we've had a lot of rain the last few days, so that doesn't surprise me too, too much. Um, but yeah. We have acorn squash growing in our worm bin. Good news is, this is more food for the worms. Bad news is we don't want it to choke out the bottom and make it air hard to get down there. So, after I pull up, this is like weeding guys. Once I pull up all of these sprouts here, I wonder if we even have any food left. have a whole root system down here but I'm not seeing that acorn squash half at all and I'm seeing very little worms it has been a bit long since my previous update so that could be part of the issue we had a lemon up front here I believe as well as the acorn squash which is completely gone I mean, you can't find acorn squash pieces anywhere in here. We have so many worms. They're just flying through all of this. So, what to do? It looks like our worms have retreated a bit. Maybe they're feasting somewhere. Here's a small ball of them. Maybe they are down feasting somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where, but um, they need some food. Definitely, because I can't, I'm not even finding that lemon. So it is time for a nice feeding for these guys. And I have just the thing. I'm just trying to mix in some of these sprouts. I'm not gonna pull them out because since they've sprouted, they will not sprout in my garden so the benefit is that these can break down and become more food for the worm so I'm gonna get it buried up and make sure all the roots are pulled out and I'm just gonna use this layer here as the layer beneath our food because there's still a little bit of coconut core and we will top feed this system so we can get some action this is not what I expected but um, still pretty cool if you ask me all right, ready for some feeding. But look at the extensive root system that we got out of just one of these acorn squash sprouts. If I had the means to grow these successfully indoors, but they're just so large, I would because I would pot them and see if I could get them to take off because the root system, it's hard to see here, looks really healthy. It's incredible. So I'm hoping these guys will break down, especially now I'm gonna add a lot of food in between so got a nice big bag of food and just dropped my dry mix here we go so my dry mix as always good to have buffer bug control all that good stuff some added nutrients things like that certainly not necessary but some grit source at the very least would be important so I'm really sad. My friend is uh, moving to a new job in a different hospital, and I'm not going to be able to get scraps from her quite the way I used to. So I'm a little bit bummed out, but we're already trying to set up a schedule where I can pick them up from her, because she's fa fairly local to me. And she gives me so many scraps. She eats way healthier than I do. guess that's what it boils down to. So it looks like maybe she had some bananas go bad. Uh... This is what sweet potato, these are, I guess, grapefruit halves, apple cores, the whole bit. So I think this should be really good. And since we're top feeding, I think we should probably get some pretty good action, even if I'm a little bit late getting to my updates the way I have been, especially with the holidays upon us. But I will let you guys know I have some big things in the works. I have a new experiment that 
Um, it's going to be run by a few different people, which will be really fun to do the side by side. So that's in the works. So there's plenty of stuff coming down the pike. Just got to get through the holiday rush first. So I'm going to just dump, I have a little bit of coconut core left. Then I'll be going back to my shredded paper. I've done some seed starting. So I do have a good deal of this. So one handed guys, this is, I never learn to set up the tripod, never learn. Somebody commented a few videos ago, thanks for the Blair Witch video, uh, videoing. It's pretty accurate. I apologize if I make anyone dizzy. Not my intentions, but I'm also not very good at taking my time with stuff either. I get in here, I'm ready to film and realize I don't have a tripod in here and I just don't set it up. New Year's resolution. I'm going to get better at that stuff, guys. I apologize. But... Left a back corner like we always do. I leave at least one corner empty. This is not covered tight um, as far as with the coconut core, but I'm going to close the lid tight. So with a CFT, you can get away with um, a little bit more food being exposed and not worrying about bugs too much. I could be asking for trouble. I have still seen a handful of fruit flies lately, but um, I'm willing to push the boundaries a little bit. My beetle numbers have been down. Um, my mites have been really low in all of my bins. Uh, I still have some springtails going on here and there, but those are, are almost a given. So um, I'm pretty pleased with the way my bugs or bug issues have been working out lately. They've been fine for me. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And for all of you who celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.